Hi everyone, I finally took the civil PE exam two days ago and I thought it'd be nice to make a video about my study timeline, how long I spent on different subjects, um, all the, the reference material I bought and the ones that I actually ended up using during the exam, uh, show the practice exams I took, how I scored on, on different practice exams and also share my exam day experience how I felt during the exam and how I felt after the exam and how I'm feeling now. So I hope this video helps uh, those who have just taken the exam or those who are planning to, or if you're planning to take the exam in the future. All right, so my study timeline was composed of 164 hours, as you can see on this spreadsheet here. I documented each day that I studied and how long I studied each day. Um, and you can see that I started very early, June 16th, 2020. I remember at the time I wasn't sure if I was going to take the SE or the PE, but after I realized how hard the SE was going to be, I decided to go for just for the PE. But I'm glad I started that early and I started studying for the depth portion. Uh, which for me it was a structural portion because even though I didn't have much time during the week because of work I could just spend an hour a day or half an hour and just chip away at content I remember I started with concrete design and then steel and it took me a while until I'm just going to scroll down until I actually took a practice exam so and the first one I took was the NCES practice exam and if I scroll up here all these hours since when I started until the practice exam, these um, totals to about 100, 100 hours um, up to the leading up to the NCES practice exam. I had not covered all the material just because I was solving, I used EET and I was solving all the EET questions, the practice questions. Um, I did not take any course, but I was just following the material. And the results were not as, as I was expecting. I, the afternoon portion, when I took it, um, I did not have full four hours to take it, but I only got 25 out of 40, right? So that was only 63%, and I was hoping to get a higher score. And for the morning, I had not studied for the morning yet, and I decided to take an exam just to see where I was at. And for those, I had the School of PE notes, and I just used them and I got 70% on the exam so that made me feel better about the morning so I didn't spend as much time studying for the morning and I'll tell you later why I think that hurt me a little bit because I think it I got uh, I thought that I was going to do uh, okay in the morning or I was going to feel better in the morning not studying as much just because um, in the practice exam I was doing better but you see that later on when I took another morning exam I was still not doing well in the morning but from that point on um, I was just reviewing the exam the subjects I got wrong and then on March 28th I took my second exam and this was just the afternoon since I had scored less in the afternoon I wanted to take another afternoon exam after I studied those subjects and see how I did now as a fair warning, these other exams that are not from NCES, they are way, way harder than, than the NCES practice exams. And I found that out when I took the, this PPI practice exam, and I only, I again, scored the same score, even though I had studied even more uh, subjects. Um, so I reviewed that exam again, and still had not studied much for the morning besides just reviewing what I had gotten wrong in the morning. And this Michael Lindeberg practice exam here, I'm gonna put it on the screen here. It's, uh, it's a, also a very hard uh, practice exam for the morning and I only, I scored now even lower, 52%. And then this other PM practice exam, 58%. So those were very low and I was very discouraged when I was taking those exams. So. If you're studying for the PE um, or you're thinking about it and you want to take this practice exams, I think they're still good because they um, have some very in-depth questions that you probably won't find in the exam, but if you know how to solve them, 
you know, it means that uh, you've covered that subject very well. And if there are conceptual questions around that subject, you'd be able to answer them. Um, and then I reviewed that exam once again, and the weekend before the exam, which was April, 20, April 17th, I found out about this website called civil, from a friend called civilpepractice.com. I'm not affiliated with, with any of these study prep um, schools or material, but I, I could get a free trial and they had a free um, exam, so you can check them out. And I took their free practice exam right away and then I scored 70% in the morning and 78% in the afternoon. And then at this point I was feeling much better about the afternoon portion especially because I had spent over 100 hours just for the afternoon portion of the exam. And then the following week I pretty much just brushed up in the morning water resources and transportation um, subjects specifically. And then the day before the exam I just rested and um, went to the exam on the 23rd. So as far as timeline I think I put a lot of time for the afternoon portion. I wish I had put more time for um, for the morning. For the exam day, I actually took a lot of reference material and I didn't use all of them. So you see here in this picture um, the luggage, that I, the suitcase that I took. So you can see that I, I borrowed a lot of material from uh, friends and I, I bought some material as well. I ended up using mostly ACI and the steel manual, ASC, some other random references I didn't use as much. I used MDS, um, but regardless, I think it's still good to have all the references because you never know a weird code question that you're gonna find out in the exam and all it takes is going to the table of contents or a tab that you have and then finding, out, finding that answer. So I don't regret taking this boatload of material because maybe um, I got one or two questions that I used a random reference, but it wasn't for the majority of the exam. Now, as far as the exam day, um, especially now during COVID, it was, I guess, different than other years, but it was nice. I had a huge table. I think it was probably four feet by eight feet long, so I could lay out all my study material. I was kind of worried about that on how, how much space, how much room I was going to have to just lay my books um, down and, uh, and use them. Um, it was okay um, you, wearing a mask during the exam. It wasn't too bad, but I know v that varies from person to person. And um, overall, it was a good exam, exam experience. Now, post-exam, I definitely felt like the exam was harder than I was expecting and especially in the morning because I didn't study for it as much and looking back if I don't get positive results I will definitely spend more time studying for the morning just because I didn't prioritize it as much as you could see from my timeline and for the structural portion the depth I felt like it was still harder than I was expecting but I felt like I I knew a little bit more uh, questions still had to guess on a few um, but that was my um, my experience and how I'm, I'm feeling after the exam. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some value from it. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this um, timeline, this study strategy, and if you think I should have done something different. Thank you.